Welcome back everybody, it's me Tad. Hope you guys have all been keeping really well. Today, yes, you're not mistaken. This is an English product. Two ETVs of Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Boxes here that I'm gonna be opening today. As you guys might know, I don't really collect English Pokemon anymore. I just can't afford to collect everything. So I usually just reserve it for special sets and Crown Zenith is a special set. Special set, what do I mean by that? Um, every year you get at least one special set. I think 25th anniversary was a bit of a exception where we got two, but generally speaking, you get one. And a special set is, some, is a set where you can't buy the booster packs individually. They all come in products like this, um, and there is usually a theme to the set. In this one, we've got the Gal Galar Gallery. Uh, so we'll go through that in just a moment. Here's what we're gonna get in the box. We don't need to read all this because we're gonna see it in just a moment. Anyway, let's slide that off. Let's have a look at what this looks like inside. They do make this a little bit more difficult than it used to to open. Oh, it's just got the crown zenith uh, symbol pattern. Quite nice, actually. That's quite nice. Let's pop that down there for now. Beautiful looking ETB, as you can see here. I love the matte and the glotty finish on it. Uh, crown zenith logo of the top. And then we've got a uh, um, player's guide, which is quite important actually. Player's guide shows us all the cards available in the set, including the secret cards. Let's crack on, um, let's move this out of the way. I always keep these, you can just sort of set them up as, let me show you. You can stand them up like this, so they stand up and you can stick your pin badges on here. So if you've got any Pokemon pin badges, use it as a pin display. That's what I tend to do uh, with those. Let's have a look and see what we've got in here, shall we? Um, I'm gonna keep the code card for myself, for the ETB. We have got Energy Brick, um, which is there, which you'd expect from any ETB. We have then got doo -doo -doo, this beautiful Lucario V-Star, SAR, Special Art Rare, as we would call it in Japan, but this is part of uh, the Black Star promos. If it was in the set, it'd be part of the Galarian Gallery. Gala Gallery, um, but it's not. So it's uh, beautiful artwork though, as you can see. And I'll be collecting multiples of these, as I always do with special set promos, because they are dirt cheap. Uh, we've got some beautiful sleeves here. They are gonna be matte finish again with the gold backing, uh, which is quite a nice finish on that one. We've got the card dividers, which you get four of those, blue on one side, red on the other. It's reddish pink and a bit of a purple tinge to it. So very nice dividers there. What else do we get in here? We get our plastic V-Star marker, always nice to get that. Uh, our plastic condition markers, poison and burnt, which is nice. And then we've got our die. So got the logo where the one should be and the rest of the numbers are obviously as normal. And then we've got our uh, damage condition, damage markers on there as well. Okay, that's everything. And then we're gonna get 10 booster packs. So let's pop everything else back in the box. And we will get back to this in just a moment. But uh, let's let's make sure we got the right number of packs here. So I have got these two ETBs from my good friends at Eclipse Cards. Check them out. They did an amazing deal on these for everyone who's buying from them. They had a pre-release code. Yep, there are 10 packs here. They're all got the same artwork. They had a pre-order code, which um, first of all, they're doing 10% below MSRP anyway. And then they had a pre-order code, which gave you a further 10%. So it's better than 20% off when I ordered these ETBs, uh, a very, very um, great deal. So check out Eclipse Cards if you wanna buy anything uh, going forward. Their prices are absolutely stunning. Um, I do work with different um, stores at different times, so I'm not exclusive to one particular store. Uh, I'm not working with Eclipse Cards on this because I obviously purchased these products, but I do like to give props where it's due, where a store's done a really good deal. So um, yeah, I won't talk too much more about it. Let's get on with a card list. So here is your standard card list. So this set really comprises of several elements. There's cards that have been cut from Japanese sets that didn't quite make English sets. There are cards that were in the Pokemon Gym promos in Japan. So Pokemon Gym promos are pretty much um, blind bags. So you get sealed pro promo packs when you go and play the Pokemon card game in an authorized Pokemon card game store. And um, then we've got some cards here that were in certain decks in Japan, certain pre-constructed decks as well. So we're gonna expect us to see that. We've also got the signed trainer cards, which what the ones that we are missing. So we did get a few of them in the, like we got the Marnie box with the signed Marnie in it. And I think we got one or two others maybe as well. Or maybe did we just got the Marnie? Can't remember now, I think we got two. I think we got two. 
<laughs> but uh, we've got the rest of them here, which is fantastic. So we're finally getting those. And then we're getting, obviously, some fantastic full art supporters, which I am very excited about. We've got some SR Energy, so um, special full art energy with a uh, very nice texture pattern on it which we'll see hopefully for pull one there's a pikachu that's from the precious collection box and then we've got the ar cards that were in v-star universe which you might have seen on my previous videos go and check it out if you haven't um yeah v-star universe ar cards uh, the interesting thing is the the nine that made up the one big picture that was found in the god pack in japan you find them individually in english so you don't find no god packs in here uh, you can find them all individually so they shouldn't be as expensive as the japanese ones including that pikachu and obviously everyone's fan favorite bidoof and then we've got what we what we would consider in japan as sar cards which are all here as well so i've got a few of these already i've got the simisir um i've got um the zeta auto v max got the mewtwo v max what else did i pull i pulled the drapion uh, i bought a samurai and yeah, I've got the Hooper, Zamazenta, Regigigas. I'd love to get the Hisuian Zoroark. Again, then there's the SAR full art supporters. And then the gold cards as well. Right, I think we've talked enough about what's in the set. Let's crack on and see what we do get now. So first 10 packs. Let's open them. Let's see what we get. I haven't opened English packs on camera for quite a long time. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how we get on. If I remember the pack trick. Four to the front. Oh, there we go. We got our V Star marker to begin with. Let's crack on. Let's see what we get. Okay, we've got energy switch. Very, very. Um, let's bring the camera down a little bit. Very reminiscent of the Sword and Shield energy switch. There we got a Giraffe rig. Giraffe rig, should I say? Car, uh, <laughs> Carnivine. A coughing. We got a Bidoof. Sunken. A Galarian, Mr. Mind there. Obviously very appropriate for the Galarian set. Shatot. We've got Luxio Reverse and we start with a Luxray Rare. So that's our first pack. Nice to get the two there. We didn't get a... No Shinx. No Shinx in this pack. Okay, we'll pop those up here. Oh, I haven't got any sleeves nearby. I'll have to get the sleeves later. Trust me, I will be sleeving up anything that's uh, reverse, hollow or better uh, as I finish this video. Okay, let's uh, move forward to the front. Another V-Star marker which is quite interesting let's see what we got here Graveler, a digging duo matang potion bidoof ponyard yanma shatots uh, we've got a heliolisk and a scissor okay so fairly tame start to begin with um but we'll see hopefully we'll get something good i'm hearing people are getting really awesome stuff from these things and obviously my um first few packs don't seem to suggest that first couple of packs well hopefully the pulls are about to hit us now let's see what we're gonna get with these uh remaining eight packs from this etb i'm gonna open both etbs in this video so hang around Ooh, there's a shinx that can go with it oh nice fantastic okay so we've got sar of roxanne so this is stunning um yeah as i expected the texturing is still typical english texturing not quite the level we'd expect with the Japanese and we got the Nessa signed card as well absolutely fantastic I think there's somebody at the door just hold fire I'll be back in a sec okay apologies about that it was a very important parcel at the door from PSA uh, from the middleman from PSA 27 months in the waiting for that one but I'll show you guys that in one of my mail videos uh, I managed to get some sleeves while I was up as well so let's sleeve up these beautiful cards we've got the Nessa signed signature card which is excellent and we got the beautiful Roxanne SAR card from the Galar Gallery that is Galar Gallery 66 of 70 so that's our first one very nice very happy with that what a great start to our opening three packs in and I am already super happy with this ETB um great okay let's see what we got in this one okay four to the front Got a lightning energy, rare candy, uh, pin churchin, <laughs> Pokemon catcher, salandit, we've got an oddish, coughing, sun curd, Galerian Mr. Mime, we've got energy retrieval hollow, and we have got one of the SR energies. So you can see, unfortunately, they haven't been able to emulate, um, or have they? Or have they? Oh, they have. 
Um, I wasn't sure whether this was the case, but they have. Is there Pokeballs in there? Yeah, there are Pokeballs in there as well. Just about catch them. But you've got the energy symbol there. And you should, if we can get the angle just right, be able to see uh, the Pokeballs as well. Don't know if you can see the Pokeball, but we've got the energy symbol for sure. That is the Psychic SR, one of my favorite energy types in Pokemon. So that is a card 156 of 159. It falls under the SR slot, so full art slot. And uh, yeah, pretty decent start, I think. Okay, another black code card. I don't know if they're all black or whether they have white code cards in this set or not. They're obviously not all hollows, as we can tell already, because our first couple of packs had uh, zero hollows in them. But uh, we'll see. Oh, there is the So So Aron. So that's going to go into my So So collection. Very nice. Pop that to one side. We've got Matang Reverse and we've got a Snorlax. Uh, this is absolutely <laughs> stunning. A knitted Snorlax by Asaku Ito. Beautiful looking rare. I love Snorlax cards. So that'll go into my Snorlax collection for sure. Okay, we've got another black code card. Uh, four to the front. Let's see what we get in this one. Okay. I love this artwork by Amelie, uh, Amelie Cart. Uh, beautiful, stunning, sort of very nice artwork. I don't know how to describe it. It's uh, it's sort of like a very sort of cartoon type. Oh, we've got something here. We've got a Duskull. Duskull from the Gala Gallery. Card number 28 from the Gala Gallery. This is one of them from the nine card artwork. So this is in the top right hand corner, I think. Uh, so very nice looking art there. And we got a Galarian Berserker at the back. So let's sleeve this, this one up as well. Keep it with our Galarian Gallery stuff. Well, we'll just pop it down there for now. And we'll move on. Okay, so we are, uh, what? This is pack number seven now, I think. Another black card. Let's see what this one delivers. Okay. Rare Candy's back, which we like. Switch. Starly, Cherubi, Young Goose, we got Pokeball Reverse, and we got Double uh, Regular Rare. Seems to be getting quite a few regular rares in this box. Another black code card. <laughs> um, let's hope we've got something in the Gala Gallery slot here in the Reverse Hollow slot. We got Tangler, Larvesta, Snorunt, Switch, we got Pancham. Orangaroo Reverse Hollow Rare and a Yanmega Rare. Okay, penultimate pack from box number one. Let's see what this delivers. Okay. Are there white code cards in this? I don't know. But um, I think everything's meant to be in the black. I don't know how English cards work these days. We've got the reverse of the signed hop. Very nice. And we've got a Simiseer as well. So that's a pretty decent pack. Love the signature cards. I do collect full art trainers, but I love the signature cards as well. I'll be adding those to my collection. And that is obviously a reverse holo rare. We're going to pop that down to one side. Simisir V can go sort of on the pile here with the regular cards. That's card 22 of 159 from the main set. And... Um, Let's crack on with this last pack from this first ETB before we move on to the second one. Same artist there, Amelie Carr, um, has done Ultra Ball. Very distinct style, as I was saying. Uh, Welma, Galarian Meowth. Ooh, we got something in here. We've got the Mill Tank. Uh, 24 out of 70 from the Galarian Gallery. Beautiful card. I did pull this in Japanese as well, so a great card to pull. And a Zashian Hollow. Okay, that's our first Hollow I think we've pulled. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so first box, we've not done too bad. Let's summarize what we've got. I think we'll uh, just pop our uh, hollow with the rares there to one side. Okay, so let's have a quick summary and see what we've got. So box one, put the bulk there, put the code cards there. We got a Simisir V, we got our um, full art SR energy. We got a mill tank from the um, Gala Gallery. We got a Dust Skull. We got the Nessa and the Hop signed cards. One reverse, one regular hollow. And then we got the Roxanne from the Galarian Gallery as well. Roxanne SAR, as it would be known in Japan. Okay, let's crack on. Box number two. Let's see what we get from this one. 
if I can get the knife to make uh, an incision where we want it. Okay. Let's uh, move this up a little bit, get this out. And we're just gonna grab the packs and then we'll move on. There we go, that's our packs. ETBs are a great way to store your collection as well. I love ETBs because I don't like sort of, I don't often get um, folders for all of my collections. So sometimes I just put them in ETBs and it's a great way to store, you know, your set as such. It's a lot more difficult to browse your set. Obviously you have to get them out of the ETBs and have a look, not as easy as folders, but from a cost and a space saving point of view, it can be more uh, more economical and uh, easier to find as well, rather than having folders that all look the same. Okay, there's another Aron, we'll pop that to one side. Seal, Oddish, we've got a regular hollow energy. So this one doesn't have the texturing, just a regular hollow. No numbering at the bottom. And we've got another Luxray as well. So Luxray can go on the rare pile. This one can go on the hollow pile. So we'll pop that down there and we'll move on see what the second pack from this one uh, delivers. Okay, so we've got a Metal Energy, Soul Rock, Crocorock, Luxio, Wooloo, uh, Helioptar, Skrelp by uh, Komia, Grubbin, Pearl Oil, Trekking Shoes again by Amelia Carts, and uh, Lipard Rare. Okay. Yeah, I think these are all just black code cards. So black bordered cold code cards. Okay, let's see what this one has got in store for us. We've got Amolga, beautiful Amolga there. Scyther, ooh, we've got Starly, and we got a Ditto this time. Look at that, okay. Great card, Ditto, Galarian Gallery 22, a Rangaroo at the back, regular rare. But uh, let's uh, sleeve up this beautiful Ditto and uh, move on, shall we? So at the moment, for my personal collection, I mean, as most of you know, I collect full art supporter cards, so it's quite important for me to get the SAR and the SR versions of the full art supporters. So there's quite a few in this set to get. I think it's 16 in total. Um, we've got the five in the main set, and how many have we got in the Galar Gallery? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so 15 in total. Uh, we've got one of them today so far, so hopefully we can get some more of them. We've got um, Giraffe Rig, Reverse Hollow, and a Pangoro as our rare. So, uh, as far as hollows and stuff are concerned, we're not getting many of the Vs, V Stars, V Maxes. Oh, we've got Friends in Hisui. First time we've seen that today. Uh, that's obviously one of the full arts I really want is Friends in Hisui and Friends in um, Sinnoh. As well, we got Paras. Okay, another one of the nine that make up the, um, the the nine card image. It's a shame the yellow borders are going to ruin the <laughs> nine card image somewhat. But uh, yeah, Paras, fantastic. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see what we got in the next pack. Right, four to the front. Salazzle, Dusclops, Matang, Whelmer, Galarian Meowth, Boltoy, Tangler, Ponyard, we've got a Reverse Hollow Executor, and we've got a Ditto, Super Stretch Ditto from V-Star Universe, that one. So that's a great pull. Okay. Let's see what this pack has got to hold for us. We've got Beautiful Luxia by Shibuzu, Trekking Shoes, uh, Pornyard, Yanma, Shatot. There's definitely something in this one. Love this. Grubbin, Reverse. And we've got a Leafy on V uh, at the back there. So I think this is a different artwork to the Leafy on we had in Evolving Skies. I think. I'm not sure. You're going to have to correct me. But this card's 13 out of 159 from the main set. So yeah, that's our third hit from this ETB. This ETB's not really been delivering as well as the last one, I don't think. Maybe we can do with a few more of the signed full art, I mean signed supporter cards. Maybe a couple of full arts would be nice, but I uh, don't know if we're gonna get those. Let's see what we get from this pack. Okay, 
So we have got a Larvesta, a Shinx, Galarian Mr. Mime, and a uh, Dragelg. Dragelg? Dragelg? You guys tell me how that's pronounced. If you if you can put it in the comments below and sort of uh, break it down phonetically how it is spelled, that'd be great. Or pronounced, that'd be great. Okay, got our V-Star marker there. Lunatone, Solrock, well, right next to each other. Uh, Bidoof, Coughing, Sunkirk. Oh, we got a Galerian, Mr. Mime. A Shinx, we got a Zamazenta, Reverse Hollow. Look at the artwork on that. Very nice. Walking down towards you, straight at you, down that path. And a Volcarona at the back. Volcarona rares are the... I always get Volcarona rares. Which set was it that had Volcarona in it? Oh my gosh. Haunted me that set did. Okay, let's pop that code card down. Four to the front. Final pack. Let's see. Can we get anything good from this one? We've got Great Ball, Soul Rock, Trekking Shoes, Salandit, Oddish, Coughing, Sunkern, Galeria, Mr. Mime. We do. We've got the Manfi. Uh, from the Galarian Gallery. This card is absolutely stunning. Uh, it is number six at the Galarian Gallery. Uh, six or 70, beautiful artwork. Look at all the other Pokemon. There's a Puncherisu, I think. I think there's some wishy washies at the bottom. A Pipek, is that? Um, oh, I can't remember what that one is. Is it a Bruxish? I can't remember what the name of that one is. And then we've got Zerud Hollow at the back. Yes, is it myth is Zerud mythical or legendary? You're gonna have to remind me. I can never remember. Rogue Monkey Pokemon. It's a Rogue Monkey Pokemon. Okay. So, let's summarise what we got from this second box then. And not as amazing as the first one, I have to say. Quite honestly, this box wasn't the greatest as far as um, pulls were concerned. But we did get three. So we got the Leafeon V. We got the Manfi from the Galarian Gallery. We got the Paras. And we got the Ditto as well. So, let's... Um, Let's see what we got from both those ETBs combined then, shall we? We've got a few hollows. Obviously, I don't count hollows as hits. Um, the Simiseer V there. We've got uh, Roxanne. We've got Nessa and Hop there. We've got Duskull, which is uh, which goes just in here. Uh, we've got uh, Miltank. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we've got uh, five six cards from the Galarian Gallery, you got a uh, full art, um, energy, and a couple of the uh, signed cards as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, um, I'll be back for another one as well. I think I've got a couple of boxes. Yeah, I've got the other two Crown Zenith products, the Reggie Draco and Reggie Lecky, I think it is. So yeah, check, tune in for that one as well. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.